Today, I have a real beauty of a golf lesson for you. We're looking at how we start down correctly. I'm gonna share with you a great way of practicing some moves that are gonna get you in the slot with your arms, get the slot in the right position in terms of the ball and help you really get that pressure on the golf ball in the right direction. It's the key move to help all those things. So I see so many golfers that when they try and start down, do it too much with the upper body, the torso, and the torso and lower half relationship and sequence is incorrect. What I want to do really with this video is kind of expand a little bit on the kind of game changer video I did some time ago that was ever so popular, that we want to feel like the arms almost feel like they push forward and down and out in order to get the right sequence with the body. So scientifically wise, we want the lower half to lead the race, okay? That goes without question. And what happens in the start of the downswing should be the lower half should move, the upper half then should follow. So they are moving laterally towards target, but the lower half is definitely winning that race. And then what we'd want to see is the arms move forward and try and get more on top of the golf ball. What we see with a lot of golfers is this move here with the torso and the arms move further away, the kind of casting action, and that creates a hell of a lot of loft at contact, but also in terms of direction, the club travels across the golf ball. We get glancing blows, poor strikes, and very weak shots. What we see with all good players and elite ball strikers is the lower half and pressure is shifting forward and the arms pretty much get down on top or in front of the torso like this, and the torso is still kind of what we call closed at this position. It is rotating all the time and there is rotation. So I'm not saying there isn't rotation, but what we tend to see is people get the sequence wrong because the ball's there. Whenever the ball's there, it's so tempted just to try and go, okay, how do I get to that ball as quick as I can? And that's what they do. They set the golf ball. How do I get to the ball as quick as I can? And, and, that, and that's it. That's the instinctiveness of how we want to move then as opposed to, okay, let's get into this kind of shape and turn onto the golf ball correctly. So I'd like to share something I saw from Pete Cowan, and this kind of goes hand in hand with everything we've just said. What I'd like you to do is cross your feet over. Now, when you do that, it makes the backswing a little bit unstable for sure, but we can still turn behind the golf ball. And then from here, we can get our arms down in front and we can get a little bit of lateral force across, but not a huge amount with the feet, which is the only negative in that, in that sense but it creates the space and room for the arms to come down and go forward at the same time, which is what I love. So we're trying to feel like the arms almost push the rib cage forward a touch. Then I'd want you to step and feel that pressure move through the golf ball. So we're really working on the sequence of stopping the upper body moving correctly, albeit we are reducing, not intentionally, the lateral movement of the lower half, but we're still putting it in there, but just a touch later. Again, in the real world, a touch of lateral at the same time we got this arm move would be what I'd want. So this helps us with the arm move and we can feel a bit of the lateral move. It also helps us wind up the backswing, get turned behind the golf ball. So it does a lot of good. The idea would be and how I want you to do the process would be that you do a practice swing, cross the feet over, work it down, step and swing through. Use those feels on the shot. So one practice swing, step into the golf ball. Try and use the same feels to get the arm sequence, the arms forward, get that pressure on the golf ball, get that trade elbow, a more advanced position to help that ball striking to make you become a consistent ball striker, but also swing it on the correct direction to pressure that ball, push that ball in the direction of the target. So we're able to control everything from one kind of feel. So this practice swing for me helps the sequence. And then when you go and hit the golf ball, just really feel that you shift that pressure because we do want to shift that pressure. And that is a priority still. We want the pressure to be about 80% of our pressure at, on the lead foot at contact and then move into about 90% to the finish. But again, try not to chase it too much through the torso. Try and feel the torso more extends and that gets the rest of the sequence working really, really well. So doing this exercise, doing this drill for me becomes part of my game changer series.
to get your arms in the right direction and the right place to deliver the club on ball correctly.